with Roman Reigns and your relationship with him, this guy could have crushed it in any generation? Paul? Doesn't matter? Uh, the current generation? Uh, he, Roman Reigns would be the greatest star in the industry no matter what generation he came across it. Well, what, what jumped out at you when you first met him, Paul? I first met Roman Reigns when he was three years old, and his father, Sika of the Wild Samoans, brought him into the locker room in Panama City, Florida. And, and, and even at three years old, he had so much career. I mean, I, I thought he was going to become a child star. You know, like a child actor, like Ron Howard or or whomever. You know, just he, he he Roman had so much charisma, even at three years old. Just well, how nice to meet you. You know, just shaking your hand, and you look into those piercing eyes and you say, "Oh my God, this kid's a star!" And he's three years old. Just he had that intangible it factor. You just knew you were in the presence of someone or something special, even though. It's a three-year-old kid running around. Well, what if somebody had told you when that three-year-old kid and you met him that, that you were going to be the wise man for this kid when he's going to dominate uh, the WWE and the wrestling world in the in the way that uh, I, I don't even think you could even fathom how significant the wrestling world is now based back even then. I mean, how significant oh. it is now. What if somebody had told you that back then, Paul? I would have signed, I would have signed a kid just like that. A hundred percent. If you told me I had an opportunity to sign him at three years old, I'd have that contract drawn so fast. I wouldn't give anybody, anybody a chance to talk him out of it. And then, of course, there's the biography that you are the director and producer of, WWE Legends, featuring Roman Reigns. That's going to be um, airing on A&E, debuting March 31st. So that's, I mean, a heck of a week is coming up soon, Paul, from yeah, that yeah, all the way through to the end of your uh, to, to your induction and then and then WrestleMania. That's coming up. And, and, and then, by the way, two successive main events on, on Saturday and Sunday at WrestleMania. It, it, it happens to be a little bit of a busy week for us. Um, the, the biography of Roman Reigns is an interesting situation because it speaks to the persona and the character of, of, of Joe Anawai, who is Roman Reigns. Um, because when they approached us, he did not want it to be like, like any other A&E biography. So the first thing that he demanded was that I direct it and produce it so that it has a different feel to it, so that it captures the core of the man as well as the character and the persona. So our approach was not only, as we do with everything, to, to produce and, and present what we hope is the greatest biography that's ever been seen on A&E, you know, lofty goals admitted, uh, or, or something that's worthy of an Emmy, um, if the Emmy Awards would get their heads out of their asses and actually take a look at the work <laughs> that we've been doing together. Uh, but also just to present a, you know, if, if you're a WWE fan, this is what we feel the the quintessential, the ultimate, the, the disruptive, the, the, the state-of-the-art biography. And if you're not a WWE fan, you've never heard of the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, that this biography is so compelling that you're riveted by it and you tune in and go down the rabbit hole because you're so compelled to watch this story. Well, I mean, you know this already, Paul, but I'll, I'll do, I'll do, you know, I always like leaving my guests in a better spot. Uh, you know, you're supposed to schmooze the Emmy voters, not point out the orifice <laughs> in which their head resides, right, Paul? You're, you're... Well, you know, we've been schmoozing and, 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 and presenting and sending out press releases and begging and imploring uh, and, 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 and bribing for, you know, how many decades? <laughs> and, and, and we get no love, we get no flowers back. So now comes the time to uh, blackmail, cajole, <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or, or or point out aforementioned orifice. That's right. For your consideration to remove your head from your ass long enough yes. to give us an Emmy nomination or an award for the WWE legends featuring Roman Reigns, the biography. Uh, what is, what's your opinion on The Rock coming into the four again, Paul? What do you have I, there? The, the most brilliant move Dwayne Johnson has, has, has ever made is to... Uh, is, is to jump on this uh, runaway train of success that all started in August 2020 when Roman Reigns had an opportunity to come back as the tribal chief and lift sports entertainment itself, the entire industry, out of the pandemic into unfathomable heights to where WWE is part of a 21 
billion dollar merger with UFC and 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 uh, an Endeavor, uh, you know, creating TKO Holdings Group, um, and and The Rock sees the success, and The Rock sees the 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 global enormity of the success of WWE led by Roman Reigns. And The Rock now brings his considerable star power and his team and his efforts uh, and, 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 and all that goes with being Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the single biggest box office attraction in movies today, to WWE. To me, it's yet another merger. Just like WWE and UFC, it's now the Roman Reigns-led WWE product and all that comes with The Rock and being the biggest movie star in the world, and you merge those two universes, and now you have a multiverse. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.